Hi, in this tutorial, you will learn how to create a hologram effect in Photoshop. In this video I tried to explain step by step. I use several techniques that may be useful to you elsewhere. This tutorial has a lot of precise settings. So, pick up your pen and paper. Of course do not worry, this is very easy. So let's get started. Subscribe, and most importantly hit the bell to stay notified about new videos. Well, the first thing you need to do is download add-ons from the link that there is in description. There are two add-ons file to import to your Photoshop. One includes gradients and the other includes patterns. To import gradients, you can do this through the gradients panel. If you cannot find the gradients panel, you should go to window menu and click on gradients. Go in the gradients panel and click on the icon at the top right of the panel. And from there, click on import gradients. Now you should go to downloaded folder and select the gradients file and click on load to import. As you can see, gradients have been added. Also, to import patterns, you can do this through the patterns panel. If you cannot find the patterns panel, you should go to window menu and click on patterns. Go in the patterns panel and click on the icon at the top right of the panel. And from there, click on import patterns. Now you should go to downloaded folder and select the patterns file and click on load to import. As you can see, patterns have been added. Start by selecting your object. In this example I used from Select Menu and Subject. For a better result, go back to the Select Menu and click on Select and Mask from there. Grab the Refine Edge Brush tool from the Tools panel and clean the edges of the hair. Create a new solid with 01030D color for the background. Drag this layer to below. Well, as you can see, this is not properly cleaned. To solve this problem, I used a simple technique. I grabbed the Clone Stamp tool from the Tools panel and I filled in brighter places. To do this, you must first press and hold the Alt key, then drag on dark places. Then release the Alt key and drag on brighter places. Great! Right-click on this layer and click on Convert to Small Object. Make a copy with Ctrl plus J and hide it, because we will need it later. Right-click on Below Layer and from Blending Options, click on Color Overlay and change the color to 000F5D. Then go to Filter Menu, Blur and Gaussian Blur. And change the amount to 520. This is our main layer, and from now on we have to copy from this layer. But every time after copying, we will keep the copied layer, because we will need it later. OK. Now make a copy from main layer, go to Blending Options, select Gradient Overlay, change Blend Mode to Normal, check Reverse, change Angle to 90, change Gradient to G1. Go to Filter Menu, Distort and click on Wave. Make these settings in order. 4, 5 and 6, 1 and 14, 97 and 1, change type to square and undefined areas as repeat edge pixels. Apply the wave effect again and this time just change the number 1 to 37 invert at scale section. Go to filter menu, blur and click on motion blur. Set then angle amount to 0 and distance to 49. Make a copy from this layer, double click on gradient overlay to change setting. Change gradient to G2 and uncheck reverse. Double click on first wave from below, make this change in order. 28, 5 and 33, 2 and 33, 11 and 1, square and repeat edge pixels. Remove second wave from below by drag it into trash. Double click on motion blur and change distance to 8. Go to filter menu, blur and click on Gaussian blur, and set the amount to 1. Make a copy from main layer. Apply Gaussian Blur with set the amount to 150. And convert it to small object. Now in the blending options, select Gradient Overlay, change Gradient to G3, and Blending Mode to Linear Burn. Then go to Filter Menu, and Filter Gallery, in Sketch Group, select Halftone Pattern and change the first amount to 2 and second one to 3. Now decrease the layer's opacity to 30%. Copy from this layer with no changes. 
Make a copy from main layer. Apply Gaussian blur with set the amount to 150. And convert it to small object. Now in the blending options, select pattern overlay. And set pattern to P1. Decrease the layer's fill to 0% and the layer's opacity to 50%. Make a copy from this layer, double-click on Pattern Overlay and change Pattern to P2. Create a new solid color, double-click on right side of the layer, select Pattern Overlay and set it to P3. Decrease the layer's fill to 0%, convert it to small object. Now in Layers Blending option, select Color Overlay and set color to 4 CEFF. Select Outer Glow and change color to 004 EFF, change spread amount to 6 and size to 8. And set this shape for contour. The rest of the settings are the same as you can see. Create a new solid color, double-click on right side of the layer, select Pattern Overlay, and set it to P4. Decrease the layer's fill to 0%, convert it to small object. Right-click on previous layer and copy layer style, then paste on current layer. Copy from this layer with no changes. Make a copy from main layer. In Layers Blending option, select Gradient Overlay and change Gradient to G4. Blend Mode to Overlay and Angle to 0. Apply Wave Effect and change this amounts in order, 36, 24 and 52, 5 and 37, 10 and 1, Sign and Repeat Edge Pixels. Apply Gaussian Blur and change amount to 40. Decrease the layer's fill to 0% and set it to soft light. Make a copy from main layer. In Layers Blending option, select Gradient Overlay and change Gradient to G5. Blend Mode to Multiply and Angle to 90. Apply Wave Effect and change this amounts in order, 9, 297, and 306, 1 and 14, 20 and 1, square and repeat edge pixels. Apply Wave Effect again and change this amounts in order this time, 2, 5 and 6, 1 and 17, 20 and 1, square and repeat edge pixels. Apply Motion Blur Effect and change distance amount to 15 pixels, and decrease the layer's opacity to 50%. Make a copy from main layer with no changes. Copy from main layer again and decrease the layer's fill to 0%. Clip this layer to below. In Layers Blending option, select Stroke and change size to 10, position to outside, blend mode to overlay and color to 18 of 5 ff. Copy from main layer and decrease fill to 0%. In Blending option, select Gradient Overlay and change blend mode to overlay, gradient to G4, and angle to 0. Copy from main layer and decrease fill to 0%. In Blending option, select Inner Shadow, change Blend Mode to Normal, Color to 8FE FFD, Opacity to 100, Angle to 180, Distance to 2, Choke to 0, Size to 0 and Contour to this shape. Apply Wave Effect and change this amounts in order, 20, 5 and 9, 10 and 15, 7 and 1, Sign and Repeat Edge Pixels. Make a copy from Current Layer. Double click on Inner Shadow and change the color to 00D FF. Also double-click on Wave and change this amounts in order, 20, 9 and 17, 16 and 25, 7 and 1, Sign and Repeat Edge Pixels. Make a copy from current layer. Double-click on Inner Shadow and this time change the color to 146 CFF and distance to 5. Double-click on Wave and change this amounts in order, 36, 24 and 52, 5 and 37, 10 and 1, Sign and Repeat Edge Pixels. Also set layer to soft light. Copy from main layer, set layer to color dodge, decrease opacity to 30%. Apply wave effect and change this amounts in order, 9, 297, and 306, 1 and 14, 101, square and repeat edge pixels. Apply wave effect again and change this amounts in order this time, 3, 5 and 6. Apply motion blur effect and change distance to 26. Copy from main layer and decrease opacity to 60%. In Blending option, select Gradient Overlay, change Gradient to G6. Angle to 90 and Blend Mode to Vivid Light. Apply Wave Effect and change this amounts in order, 9, 297 and 306, 1 and 14, 25 and 1, Square and Repeat Edge Pixels. 
Apply wave effect again and change this amounts in order this time, 3, 5 and 6, 1 and 14, 42 and 1. Apply motion blur effect and change distance to 26. Create a mask by clicking on this icon while the current layer is select. Grab the polygonal lasso tool from the tools panel and set feather to 40 pixels and now select the area that you don't want to show. Change the foreground color to black and press Alt plus backspace key to making change to layer. Copy from main layer and decrease fill to 0%. In blending option, select inner shadow, change blend mode to overlay, color to 006 CFF, opacity to 80, distance to 44, choke to 0, size to 32 and contour to this shape. Copy from current layer, double click on inner shadow, change blend mode to screen, color to 00D2FF, opacity to 50, distance to 25 and choke to 3. Apply wave effect and change this amounts in order, 9, 297, and 306, 1 and 14, 25 and 1, square and repeat edge pixels. Apply wave effect again and change this amounts in order this time, 3, 5 and 6, 1 and 14, 42 and 1. Apply motion blur effect and change distance to 26. Create a new solid color, set color to DB0059, set layer to overlay and decrease opacity to 70%. Create a new solid color, set color to 808080, convert it to small object. Set layer to lighter color, decrease opacity to 15%. In blending option, select gradient overlay, change blend mode to screen, gradient to G7 and angle to zero. Now go to filter menu and filter gallery in sketch group, select halftone pattern and change the first amount to one and second one to one. Create a new solid color, set color to 808080, convert it to small object. From filter menu, noise, click on add noise and change amount to 10%, select uniform and check monochromatic. Set layer to overlay and decrease opacity to 50%. Now scroll down and find this pattern layer, add mask. Now grab the brush tool from the tools panel. Make sure the foreground color is black. While the mask is select, drag to areas you want to clear. Now select the below layer, hold the alt key and drag the above mask to the below layer and drop it. Repeat this until you reach to the best result as you want. For get better result you can create a new layer on above of this layer. Set the foreground color to 0C90FF, grab the brush tool from the tools panel. Decrease flow amount to 15% and drag on the areas as you want to get more blue lighting effect. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe and most importantly hit that bell to stay notified about future videos at all times. It's totally free and you'd support me big time. Anyway guys, then I hope I'll see you in my next video.